hello lolas welcome back to my channel guys if you're not subscribed then go ahead and subscribe now by clicking the red subscription button click the bell to be a part of the notification squad and if you're not a chatterbox queen a king now is the time drop down in that description box and click the link to join you do have to be 18 years old because you need to be full grown to get the behind the scene live streams <laughs> and you it is a dollar and 99 cents per month that's just a dollar and 99 cents per month i want everybody to eventually get into the chatterbox if you can that is my goal yeah i know that's that's far stretched but that's my goal so you can't stop a girl from dreaming so that's my main thing make sure you're following me on instagram because that's where i put all my pictures I love taking pictures of my babies. That is like one of, I think, my, that's number one. The very first thing that I love more than anything is just posing the babies, dressing them, and taking their photos and sharing their photos. And that's probably why I'm kind of like an overshare. Like, I like to share, you know, my progress. I like to show off other artists' works other sculptors work I love to show the difference in how you know the same kit can look so very different like I am so excited I can't wait to start painting on my other Alex that I'm painting for a customer because it's going to be a girl and it's going to be AA so it's going to be really cool to have Bryson side by side with same sculpt but baby going to look totally different that baby will probably get rooted and all that stuff even before Bryce and I probably, I'm thinking. I don't know. We'll see. Because I may root him in between painting. Just depends on how everything flows because I am going to be super, super busy. I have quite a bit of uh, babies to paint um, orders. Maybe a few buy it nows in, in between or whatever. But for those that may not know who um, Bryson is, Bryson is... Alex, he is the, uh, I mean, he is, yeah, he is the Alex Sculpt by Claire Teller. He's a, a partial silicone. I'm going to get him dressed in this video. I just love how sweet he is. Like, he's my little cuddle bug. Like, I just love him. I need to touch him up, but I have not been able to take him apart. <laughs> so, eventually, I am going to touch him up before I start to root him. Just little things, little shine spots that I missed, you know, here and there. And that happens during rooting. I mean, not rooting, matting. You end up matting them a few times because you, you know, depending on how the light hit, you may not see the shine spot and then you have to go back. So I will touch him up and get those little spots and then he'll be all good to go. And, um, yeah. And then that's that's where where we're at with it. Um but yeah. So that's that's my little my little man. So I am going to get him dressed. I am so super excited, guys. I have so many good things coming on. I'm going to um I am expecting another kit. So as I get my kits in, guys, let me know in the comment section if you guys would like for me to do an unboxing of even just the blank sculpt so that you guys can see what they look like. Um, because I am going to be getting some kits in. Some are going to be um, either for my just my regular collection. Some is going to be probably for my private collection. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to continue to keep a private collection, to be honest, because I really love sharing and maybe... You know, some babies don't get shown as often as others, but I mean, hey, it is what it is. But then, I don't know, there are a few that I just do not want, you know, like replicas out of them. So I do keep those to myself. Um, but I think, I'm trying to think, the ones that I have coming up. I think I'll be able to share if you guys are interested in just seeing the blank sculpts. I don't know. Maybe you guys are just don't want to see that. But I was thinking like, oh, I can show. I'll show you guys the kits as they come in. So I won't tell you guys who I am expecting. But I am. And, you know, 
let me say this before I even get into this because, you know, y'all, I have to give disclosures for everything for the sensitive, the weak, and the petty. <laughs> hey, girl, what? <laughs> but no, for real, I do. I have to give a disclosure. So let me say this. I have enjoyed every experience that I've had, even the bad experience. I, I won't say I enjoyed them, but I appreciate them, and I am so thankful that I was able to experience it. And... The reason why is because you learn from every experience or you, you know, and I've seen a ton of babies come through my collection and it has either inspired me, discouraged me <laughs> or, you know, made me, you know, better or uh, learn to do better type thing. So, um, I enjoy every experience. But what I realize now, um, and I've had friends to tell me, you know, people say that to me and I get mad and catch a whole attitude. They're like, oh, you got all this money invested in one baby. You know, you could have multiple babies. If you guys followed me from the beginning of time when I first started collecting, I was able to collect all the time. And I get bored quick. So I love seeing a new baby coming and going sometime. So, I was able to do that when I was just collecting just basics. What is this? Little. Okay. Little boy. Um. So, but then as the more I started uh, collecting the more expensive dolls, I pretty much couldn't collect the little, you know, the ones, like little ones in between or you know, different from different reborn artists and stuff. I wasn't able to do both. I had to pick and choose because my money don't flow like that. Now, I know y'all think, some people think, some of y'all know, some of y'all can look at me and tell I ain't got no money. But hey, some of y'all just swear I got money because of the collection. But I was not able to buy, like, from different artists. And it's nice to see different artists, you know, work and just, you know, have you know, a variety in your collection. Now that I've made up my mind not to indulge like that, and I feel so free. And I know that sounds horrible. You know, I feel like every doll that I've had has been worth the money um, and some, but I just feel free. I feel, you know, I don't feel guilty when I make a purchase because I have a limit now and my new limit where it used to be up here is way down here now. <laughs> um, I ain't gonna say that. Like for a very special baby, I will go midways, but I I won't ever go up all the way at the top again. Um, and that's just because I can't afford it. Let let me be super clear and transparent on that. If I could afford it, I would I would buy the same same caliber of dolls. Like I would. Um, but I've learned, like I, I've said recently a lot, I've learned that I actually can enjoy other babies. Like, I'm thrilled with this baby. You know, I had to, and I know a lot of people say, oh, you paint, so that's, you know, you, it's cheaper and all that. Well, sort of, kind of, but with silicone, it's still very expensive, so I can't just buy every kit. Um, with the Reborns, it still gets expensive for me because I don't root my own Reborns most of the time. But I am, that is on my to-do list to master that and do it in a faster pace so that I can start rooting some of my smaller babies myself and only sending out the bigger ones. Um, but it still gets pricey for me because rooting costs, you know, $300 or so. So, you know, that plus kit, supplies you know, paint, whatever else, you know, waiting materials, that type of stuff. I still in a reborn for myself and spending, you know, five hundred, six hundred dollars. It's very expensive just and I'm painting myself. So it's still very expensive for me. Um, because I don't know about y'all, but that's that's a week's paycheck. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's a lot of money so that's still expensive and in silicone you know even like um 
with with Bryson, I mean, just as a kit alone was a thousand dollars. By the time you add, you know, taxes, um, shipping, then I bought the paint kit, you know, because I I had I, I I had to get that matting powder. I love I love using her matting powder. So by the time you know, this is a size two, so it's it's fairly big. So. You know what? Maybe I should put this down this way. And now I'm scared to get anything on his little skin stuff. And he's going to wear a diaper cover, but I still want him to have on a pamper underneath so he can give it a little push, push. But, um, but yeah, so it was still very expensive. Then you got paints and all that stuff. So he's still going to cost me. And that's me painting myself. He's still gonna cost me. In the end, he's gonna. I'm gonna have about. Twelve hundred dollars invested in him. Because waiting material, and his hair, um, and then the kit. So I'm still gonna have twelve hundred. Twelve hundred dollars, and that ain't even no one painting. So this hobby is very expensive. And so I'm, like I said, I'm still going to have, it still costs me quite a bit to paint for myself. So when people say, you know, like, yeah, I, I am saving money, but it's very costly. And sometimes I think, I think I actually, I paint, <laughs> I think I paint for other people to pay for my own habit, <laughs> my own addiction to buying, you know, babies and being able to buy more kits. And right now, that's what I'm kind of trying to do. I'm buying some kits. I want to try to buy some kits, rather it be silicone or vinyl. Because I I bought the uh, half pint by Marita Winters, so I bought one for me and one to paint to sell if if I don't make them in twin to twins. Um. So I I bought that, and so I buy little kits, you know, so that I can have something to sell and then for my personal collection but what i'm finding is that painting myself instead of chasing down a prototype and all that stuff um it is allowing me to have free money to be able to do that and to be able to you know not feel guilty to where i feel like i gotta sell you know my dolls that I love so much just because I want to buy another doll well you know with Nigel to be honest I had to do that because I had I had to do a plumbing repair <laughs> on um, my rental and so of course you know how that you know how that works and but it it did make me it was like a wake up call for me and it just really really made me realize that um i actually should not be buying in that price range and so that's where i'm at now but i feel so good because I am going to be getting a baby, a very special baby, eventually, here in a few months, that I probably wouldn't have never got had I not, you know, downsized and, you know, got to a point where I'm not trying to hold on to every cent just in case something new come out that I want that I know that's going to cost me a whole lot of money. I am free because I don't I don't care what comes out. I don't care how much I like it. If it's not in my price range, I'm going to have to like it from afar. <laughs> Gosh. Ugh, I'm struggling. This is too tight. I think this is it's because I put this other diaper on. I, I forgot that this actually had cloth under it. Look at that. That thing is too tight. <laughs> okay, so maybe I'm going to take the cloth diaper off. But I wanted to see what he looked like. 
I don't really like him in it anyway. I mean, I don't like him in all this white. I don't know. He'll probably take good pictures in it, but I really don't like him in all this white. So, I do like him in the diaper though. <laughs> I liked him in this, but I think that it's too much white. So I'm gonna just let him rock his diaper because that gives him some color. I'm gonna put on his socks, so. Did, oh, I never got your other hand mitt. I'm gonna put on his yellow socks so he can have some color. But yeah, so that's where I'm at. I'm also um, doing some projects on my house. Finally, I am working in my house, the house that I'm living in. And um, I'm really excited. I'm actually, right now, I am working on my master bathroom. And although, you know, some of you guys may remember, my guy did a remodel thing, but I am actually doing a uh, a spa like theme, so that's gonna be pretty cool, and I'm really excited about it, like super excited about it because it's gonna be so relaxing and so soothing. So I've been like getting all my pieces and stuff together, and my daughter is gonna help me. So. Um, we got a deal. <laughs> I, have to, I have to bribe my girls because my girls are so talented. Like all my children are so talented. But my girls have fashion and home decor. And I, I tend to think that I am good at decorating myself. But um, I don't have the time to like get out and get stuff a lot of times and stuff like that. And... You know, now, you know, with COVID and everything, I don't want to be sending my daughter out like that either too much. But she's already out a lot of times. So I'm like, if you're out and you see what I need, you know, grab it for me. But we're like online and I'm going to order as much as I can. And then I'm going to do like a whole organization um, thing for my closet. Because my, my walk-in closet is crazy big, but it has no... You know, I want to walk in the closet and be like, yes. You know what I mean? Not like, eh. you know, just, it just, I don't know. It's just a closet. I want it to be more than a closet. I don't know. I think my Bella Blessings had like a diva closet. She showed a long time ago her closet. Now, mine probably won't be that fancy or anything like that. But, um, I, I just want, you know. My main thing though, I'm not really worried about the closet as much as I am. Actually, when I go in, I want to feel like I'm in a spa. I want to, and I want it to have that smell and everything. I'm, I mean, I, I want the wall decor. I want everything. It's already like, um, tiled beautifully and stuff. My guy did do that before I moved back in. So, but anyway, that's that's not doll related, but that's that's what my focus is on right now. But of course, you know, I love my babies, so I'm still collecting my babies. I so I'm definitely going to have, you know, a budget for, you know, every so often I will treat myself to either painting a baby for myself or buying from another artist, but not not like how it was before and I'm not going to be buying just every baby spontaneously it's, it has to be something that I've wanted for a long time or something that really really fits spot like I'm waiting 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 on this baby from Nikki whatever her name is I forget I forget but I'm waiting patiently for that sculpt it's vinyl and I gotta have it I, I might buy four of those kits I don't know that kit is so beautiful I just can't wait to paint it and so that one is a must-have so um, and I think it's coming out November and so um, the pre-orders or whatever so I'm definitely waiting on that I don't do pre-orders as much anymore because by the time they come out and stuff I'm just not interested unless it's one that I really really love so I got a few that I'm definitely gonna be um, going after and so we'll get into that 
you know, as they start coming in, I'll share that with you guys. But yeah, it's it's definitely um um life is life is 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 looking okay, you know. Um you know, it's it's one thing and I'm I'm going to say this and 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 leave this with you guys. There is a lot of times in my life that I just feel like I just never get a break. Like I always have to work so hard for everything that I have and nothing ever comes easy and it's just like I feel like things like I'll be doing good and all excited and then the whole bottom falls out and but through it all you know this especially this last time because when that plumbing repair came it was not at a good time I was like you know what through it all though I was like you know what I can only do what I can do I can't stress over what I can't take care of so I'm gonna do the best I can and do that and you know I cried through it of course you know me I'm a cry baby and but I just I said we'll figure it out and even though I was stressed and everything and it was other things that was going on that was happening around my world and I was like hella stressed but at the same time like it was always these little blessings that would come through and I was like thank you thank you I was just grateful for the smallest little things so even even if you get just like ounce of sunshine if you even just see a little peak of a, a, a opening of light you know just grab onto it and gravitate to that one little piece of light um because that's that's how I get through I just be thankful for the little things and every moment that I can have a little bit of happiness I hang on to it because tomorrow is never promised us and you know nothing lasts forever so you know it's always the ups and downs the ebbs and flows of life but you know, I just try to focus on what's good in life. Um, but I will say this also as well. And, and, and I'm not trying to preach on my videos. I'm just sharing a little bit more of myself and things that I experience. Um, but, you know, a lot of people suffer with depression. And a lot of people think depression is something that you can fix with materialistic things or you know, oh, your life is great. You have everything. You should be happy. What are you sad for? You have no reason to be sad. Depression is like, it's it's not, it's not something that's materialistic. It's a, it's a mental uh, issue. It's a, it's an illness, I should say. Let me say that. It's an illness. It's not something that you cure with a new box of chocolates. You know, oh, you're depressed. Let me give you this. If that's the case, you know, some of these, the most richest people in the world that can buy everything in the world would just buy, buy away their depression, buy away their happiness. It doesn't work like that. And it's also an insult when people say, I mean, I don't understand why she's so upset or why she's so sad or why she's depressed. She has everything. That's just, or people think, oh, you're being ungrateful or you're selfish or this and that um you know or just just live life just get over it and it's like if you think if you, if it was that easy do you think these people choose to say you know what and I know y'all seen these me memes that says this stuff like it's like you know what this morning I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna just feel depressed and I just want to hate life that's what I want to do for the day. Those are my daily goals. Nobody does that. It doesn't even make sense. So stop telling people to get over it or look around and da da da. I mean, there are times where you say look around and, 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 and appreciate the things around you. That's not for people that's actually literally diagnosed with depression. That's for people that are just making a choice to be negative or always focusing it's kind of like trying to help you and and some stuff self talks does help don't get me wrong everybody have different things and like i said seek medical attention if you feel extremely depressed um this is the winter months it's the holidays people get sad around this time you know seek help by all means i'm not 
no, in no shape or form able to counsel anybody. I'm just talking from life experiences again. But, you know, you know, positive self-talk does help, you know, and what you just have. But you have to find things that work for you that takes that edge off that gets you, you know, calm and down. Look at this boy. We know it got your edge off. You just want to get fresh diaper. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go talk to you guys later. I got another baby to dress. And so I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Say bye-bye. <laughs> Say bye-bye.